Hello everybody, hope you all are doing well. Uh, so in previous uh, tutorials, uh, we had been seeing uh, various information related to memory profiler, memory leaks, uh, low memory killer, all this memory related information. So this is Dimple here again, welcoming you all to my today's session on Android framework components. And today, uh, basically, I'll focus on uh, this command adb shell dumpsys meminfo command. So what does this command do? What are the details we get through this command? All these details I'll be sharing with you all. Uh, so before that, uh, I have uh, launched my emulator and I have just run adb devices uh, command and we can see emulator is being running. So once my emulator is up and running, I have executed this command adb shell dumpsys meminfo and I have stored it in memory.txt file. So let me go to this file. So here in this file, before going through the details, I want to tell you all what is meant by PSS. PSS is nothing but a proportional set size. It is the portion of the main memory occupied by a process and it is composed by the private memory of that process plus the portion of shared memory with one or more other processes. Okay, so PSS is nothing but proportional set size. That means it will tell how much memory a process is occupying. That memory can be private memory. Also, it can include, it will include the shared memory. So unshared memory, including the proportion of shared memory is reported as PSS. So we'll understand this more clearly when we go through an example. So imagine I have process A, which has 50 KB of unshared memory. Unshared memory means that is private memory. That memory is used only by that process A. No other process can access that memory. Then I have process B, which is having 300 KB of unshared memory. Now, both process A and process B together, they will share 100 KB of memory. So when both are sharing together 100 KB, each one will get 50 KB, right? Because 100 divided by 2. If there were three processes which were sharing 100 KB, the pro uh, proportionate set size will be 100 divided by 3 plus their private memories. So since the PSS is defined as the sum of unshared memory of a process and the proportion of memory shared with other process, PSS of these two process will be as follows. So process A, it has 50 of private. So I'll add private plus shared. How much it is sharing? 100 it is sharing. Shared between how many processes? Process A and B2 process. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 plus 50 is 100. So the total memory occupied by my process A in the RAM is 100 KB. So all this memory is regarding the RAM. I'm talking about RAM. Then process B, how much it is occupying? 300 plus 100 divided by 2, totally 350 KB it is occupying. So I hope PSS is clear now. Okay, it is the amount of memory occupied by each process in RAM. This will include shared memory as well as private memory. Now let's go ahead and see what all this memory uh, dumps is contains of. So first it will contain total PSS by each process. So each process uh, running in your Android device, how much memory it is occupying that it will show. And uh, the bracket what you can see the number in the braces that is nothing but the process ID. So for example, the system Android operating system is occupying the highest memory 79,985 kilobytes and it has the PID of 16. Four, three. So this total PSS by process, it is arranged in descending order. So you can come to know all the processes running and how much memory each process is consuming. For example, my Android Chrome is occupying 53,000 odd memory. My YouTube is occupying 36,000. All this is with respect to the emulator because I have collected dumpses of my emulator. So my Android phone is occupying 16,000. All these things we can come to know. 
मीडिया सर्वर हाउ मच लॉक डी डेमन सरफेस फ्लिंजर ए डी बी ए डी बी वी वॉन्ट बिकॉज टू एग्जीक्यूट द कमांड्स हाउ मच ए डी बी डेमन इज ऑक्यूपाइंग हाउ मच जाइगोट इज ऑक्यूपाइंग ऑल दिस वी कैन गो थ्रू वन बाय वन सो दैट विल ऑल्सो कम टू नो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस रनिंग एंड ऑल्सो हाउ मच ईच how much memory each process is occupying say lmk demon this is low memory killer this will pitch in when there is less memory all these things next category we'll see by oom adjustment oom is nothing but out of memory so i had already told you all in my previous tutorial the priority list in which low memory killer starts killing the processes running processes one by one to reclaim the memory right so according to that list uh, the highest priority is occupied by native processes so your native totally is occupying 81788 kilobytes of memory so under native there are processes which are categorized volume daemon init uh, net daemon all these things rild related to your sim all the surface flinger log the how much memory it's occupying we can come to know the next priority was for the system server 79985 kilobytes of memory so this is in the priority order itself so you all can go back to my video to understand this priority order so first highest priority is for native processes then comes system then comes persistent persistent example i had given if you are running any uh, music in background that is considered as persistent so here right now my android phone is running in background so it's considered under persistent the next priority comes for foreground processes the process with which user is interacting with so your user was interacting with quick search box visible processes your visible is again quick search box and gms persistent then perceptible this means processes which are doing some work in background for example downloading something from a server uploading something to a server all these stuffs your example input method latin this is considered as perceptible then previous previous means uh, the apps which are used uh, before going to the foreground apps all those are categorized under previous cached as i already explained cached has the least priority so if there is less memory the first uh, uh, category of uh, processes which will be killed are cached processes so all these are cached processes they avoid the run time of accessing the app then by category we can see by category so how much native is occupying how much apk all the apks in your device is occupying how much dalvik virtual machine is occupying all the dot so files the android run time how much memory is occupying then the stack ash memory cursor all these different things based on their category how much they are how much memory they are occupying we can come to see finally we'll see what is the total amount of ram how much free ram is available so there is a lot of free ram available available right then what is the used ram and what is the lost ram so all this cached pss cached kernel all these come under free ram and under used ram used processes and kernel both will come under used ram so here we can see that free ram is more than the used ram right so that's why the memory status of my device is normal the device is under good condition it is not running out of any memory so this was all i wanted to tell you all today what is the use of using this uh, dumpsys meminfo command will come to know all the processes running on your device along with how much memory each process this is occupying and will come to know under each priority layer what are the different types of processes running and how much process is occupied by dalvik kernel native all this stuff total ram is our device under good condition or bad condition everything will come to know so just you all will have android studio launch the emulator install adb driver and run this command through your command prompt play with this you all will come to know more i hope this was informative and helpful i'll see you all in my next video until then stay tuned take care bye